thanks for joining me in Poppy again. Back out in the Lake District National Park, where today we've been doing a few hours worth of fishing and a bit of hiking as well to get up to this mountainside here where we're going to spend the night. But yeah, the plan was today to spend a few more hours fishing than I actually did. Um, it is forecast to be raining tonight and late this afternoon as well. But when I was looking, um, when I was down there fishing, the clouds came over a bit, a bit earlier than expected and the wind picked up, so it was getting quite cold as well with the wind chill. So I decided just to make my way up to here where I'm going to camp and um, get set up for getting caught in the rain. We yeah, had a beautiful location, um, surrounded mountains well covered in snow, which I wasn't expecting to be honest. So that's uh, an added bonus for looking at the scenery. And yeah, we've got a nice stream that running past, uh, running past us here, which we will set up the tent just behind uh, these rocks here next to the stream. So handy for water and um, keep my beer cool for later on. But yeah, absolutely uh, beautiful location up here and uh, looking forward to spending the night here for sure. But yeah, I've got a new tent to try tonight as well. And um, it's ultra light, lightweight tent, which I'm pretty keen to try out. And uh, I got it during, lock during lockdown, I've not had a chance to do it, use it yet, so I'm pretty keen to spend the night in there and see how we get on with that. I've also got my winter gear, so I've got my down sleeping bag, my uh, Exderm, new Exderm sleeping mat, and uh, Poppy's blanket and uh, my down old down jacket fur as well. Just because the temperature is forecast, we get quite low tonight, and I um, wanted to make sure we were uh, nice and warm up here in the mountains. But yeah, it's snowing a little bit at the minute. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe that rain might turn into snow, we don't know. But um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to get the, the tent set up now, which I'm going to do next. And then I'll bring you guys back uh, later this afternoon when we've got uh, camp set up and uh, maybe make a cup of coffee up. So that's the tent all set up. Um, so in here I've just got my firm rest and I've got these dog bed down as well. And I won't put my sleeping bag out yet on my dry clothing. I've just got them in my stuff sack still. Just with it being quite wet around camp here, Poppy's going to be in and out and I know she'll probably get them soaking wet and dirty. So I'm just going to keep them in there for now. But yeah, all set up. But before I do anything else, I just want to send my wife a quick message on my down in reach. Just let her know where I'm camping. Um, and yeah, this is it here. Um, and last year, if you follow my channel for a while, you'll know I asked for some feedback and, and what people use for their satellite communication devices when they're out. And a lot of people were saying the Garmin in reach, so after doing my own research, um, I did think it was the best one of the options I was looking at. 
So I decided to buy one and I've been using it since and um, yeah, it's just great to be able to communicate with my wife and let her know where I am and she can also ask, get in touch with me if she needs to be from home. So yeah, it sends her a message just to say this is where I'm camping and also it sends her a map, map link of where I am as well so she can click on that link and I'll show her exactly where I am and um, yeah, it's great peace of mind. So I'm going to do, do that now. Um, and yeah, thanks for everyone who gave me that feedback by the way. Um, so I'm just going to do that now and then I'm going to make a cup of coffee I think and um, yeah, go and sit down by the little stream here and enjoy the views of the mountains uh, behind the camera for a little while. So I don't know how well the camera's picking up, but you can see some bad weather rolling across the mountains in the distance there. Thankfully the wind has blown it in the opposite direction to where our camp is here. Uh, but it is forecast um, for the whole area tonight, so I am expecting it to come across at some point. Um, but yeah, I had a cup of coffee earlier on, just sat down by the waterfalls there, enjoyed that with Poppy. And uh, finished that up and decided to hike up a bit higher up here in the mountains to, uh, to get a better, better viewpoint. Uh, and yeah, got some great views from up there. And that's when I noticed the bad weather coming in. Um, you can see all the way down the valley there in the mountains, so in the, in the far distance, you see it coming across. Hopefully it's just rain, not snow, but yeah, we'll see what happens when it comes, because um, it is quite cold. So it's a sunny day, but um, the wind is really, uh, really cold, and we are expecting to get down to some uh, minus temperatures tonight. But yeah, what I think I'll do now, make my way back to camp, Poppy. Uh, chill out in the tent for a little bit, and I'll bring you guys back uh, later this evening, when it's time to crack a beer open and uh, cook some tea up. just been absolutely bouncing down there the snow um, for about 15 or 20 minutes just absolutely just hammering it down and it has been snowing on and off for about an hour and a half but that was the worst it's been yet and I actually had to close the tent up fully here at the vestibule in front because uh, it was coming in slightly and uh, Poppy was getting a bit of snow on her head but yeah I put a coat on I wrapped her up closed the door up and she's nice and warm now and uh, I'm having a little nap here on a, on, a, on a dog mat but yeah it's about seven o'clock so it's getting quite late and I'm looking forward to getting some tea in at me um, it does sound like the, it's lit up a little bit now, so I might be able to get outside and cook my tea up. Um, but if not, if it does come down again, I can just cook in my best fuel area here. Just use my Trangia burner again, just to, to boil some water for some rice tonight. I've also got a few snacks to have later on as well. I was hoping to have a fish with my, with my rice. Um, but yeah, we all know how that went earlier on, didn't manage to catch anything. 
so just race tonight and say a few Snickers and uh, a few other uh, bits and bobs to have um, late this evening, uh, which will keep me going through till tomorrow morning when I make some breakfast. But yeah, it's been a crazy day for weather today. Uh, started off really sunny and bright, and the forecast was to be a little bit rain tonight, uh, going through the night. Um, but I wasn't expecting snow. I knew, I did know it was going to be cold though in the forecast, so thankfully I brought on my winter gear, my down sleeping bag, and my warm air mat, and all Poppy's gear, and I've also got some thermal trousers and uh, change clothing to, to wear later on as well when I get to bed. So yeah, just just to show you how, how, how easy the weather can change, how quickly it can change up here and to make sure you're well prepared for, for different conditions that um, you know, might come along. Also, um, I carry these ha hand warms with me. I carry these mostly around, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I can really recommend these if anyone's not used them before. Um, the last eight hours, it says in the packet, the heat I'm coming off them, but I've had them last longer than that, to be honest. And I normally just throw a few of these in my sleeping bag when I know it's gonna be cold um, before I get into bed and um, they'll warm my sleeping bag up nicely. And during the day, or if I'm sat around camp, I'll have one in my pocket just to keep my hands nice and warm, especially when I'm moving the camera around and that sort of thing where I can't always wear gloves. But yeah, so I think what I'll do now is I'll get some tea ready, get that cooked, maybe get down the stream if I can and uh, get that beer out and sit and enjoy that for a little while.
So I'll be honest guys, tonight's meal is pretty pathetic. Uh, this rice, I was hoping to have a bit of fish with it, but obviously didn't catch anything, so maybe I should have bought something as a backup. But never mind, what I'm going to do is, uh, this is almost rehydrated now, so I'm going to, uh, I've got a few, few of these spare uh, pepper armies, which I brought with me for snacks, so I'll just chop those up and throw that in as well and make some sort of meal out of it. Also went down the stream as well to get my beer out, so at least I'll have a hot, hot meal and uh, a nice cold beer to wash it down with, so um, yeah, it's going to make the most of that still. And hopefully next time we'll get a fish to eat uh, for supper instead. But yeah, I say this is almost rehydrated now. Get these chopped up, throw those in, and then uh, yeah, we should be ready to sit down and have some some tea and uh, a beer to wash it down with. So yeah, it wasn't too much of a tea, that guy's. Um, still a nice warm meal to have, and it'll keep me full till tomorrow anyway, but yeah, I probably should have brought something else to go with that rice, uh, rather than just relying on catching a fish. Uh, but never mind. I'm just washing that down now with a beer, which is lovely and cold from uh, sitting in that stream for a few hours. Probably just here in front of me. Uh, she's just had her tea. And yeah, there's a break in the weather, so we're just enjoying this outside for a little while and, uh, until the weather changes again. And it does look like it's gonna be some more bad weather rolling in, because it's coming across the mountains there in the distance, which. Um, probably going to head our way shortly, so make the most of it while we can. So for now, we've got to finish this beer off, enjoy the views of Poppy, and uh, yeah, just relax for a little while longer until we have to call it tonight and get the tent in a little bit. Right, guys, it's uh, it's gone up nine nine thirty, and uh, it's just started to um, sleet again. So come at the tent, just get changed in some warm clothing now. I'm going to get my sleeping bag and uh, warm up and uh, yeah, get settled in for the evening. So I'm going to call it there for the night and me and Poppy will catch up with you guys first thing in the morning. So good morning everyone, woke up to quite a lot of uh, frost and snow around this morning uh, and it's quite cold as well outside the, outside the tent. It's not too bad at the minute actually because the sun's just come up over the mountains there in the distance so it's starting to warm up a little bit. Um, but when I first got out of the tent this morning yeah, it was uh, really cold. Quite a lot of snow on, that, on the tent as well in the frost. Um, but yeah me and Poppy kept really wa warm in there last night. I had a fairly good night's sleep. I did keep waking up now and again just to check on Poppy to make sure she was alright, it wasn't getting too cold and she was fine so that was good. But yeah, the tent itself, really, really happy with it. Held up really well last night in some strong winds we got last night. And obviously with the snow and that on top of it as well. And yeah, uh, looking forward to getting this out a lot more this year uh, on the channel. And I will be doing, say, a separate standalone video for this tent. Uh, but it is the Z-Pax uh, Free Duo, it's called. If anyone wants to go and check it out. And I will put a link to it in the video description now if anyone's interested. But yeah, there will be a standalone video coming uh, soon on the channel for those that are interested in it. But yeah, sun just come up, so I had to welcome sign this morning because my boots were frozen solid this morning. Get putting them on was a bit of a, a bit of a hard task this morning. Um, so my feet are a little bit cold at the minute, but um, yeah, the sun's come up, so we should be uh, should be okay. And obviously, made myself a nice hot cup of coffee, 
and I'm going to enjoy this now and enjoy the views before I think about packing camp down. Um, breakfast wise I was going to make some instant oats this morning, got a couple of, instant, a couple of packets of instant oats to have but as I left my uh, spark at home on this trip um, it's going to be quite difficult to eat with my uh, spatula that I used last night for eating rice. So I um, just going to have this coffee, enjoy this and then I'll probably just get some breakfast when I get back on the road this morning heading home from somewhere. But yeah, for now, we're just going to enjoy this, enjoy the views for a little while, then we'll think about packing down camp in a little bit. Right, so the tent's down and most of my gear's back in my backpack. Uh, I'm just going to fill my water bottle up from the stream before we start hiking back uh, to where the car is. And on this time round I've actually got um, a new water filter. It's the Catadyne B3, uh, which a buddy of mine, Davey, gave me. So Davey, if you're watching, thanks mate, really appreciate it. And Davey gave me this before he moved overseas for work, so... Yeah, really keen to use this now on a few trips and uh, as a bit of a change to what I've been using uh, with my Sawyer filter. So I've got a nice full uh, litre of clean water there, ready to drink on the way back down to the car. Bit of a hike on the way down, so yeah, glad I've got that uh, water there for, so for the hike. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I've got a few bits to put back in my backpack, uh, but then me and Poppy are ready to start hiking out of here. So I just wanted to say thanks a lot for watching the video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, then please hit the thumbs up button. Or if you're new to the channel, then please uh, consider hitting the subscribe button as well and maybe checking out some of my old videos. Yeah, for me and Poppy, that's pretty much it. So I'd say thanks again, guys, and we hope to see you on the next video.